This beautiful house dates from the 18th century and has exterior decoration in Murahar style with arrakas and a broke niche in the corner, which houses a sculpture of Saint Joseph. It is known as the house of Diego de Ordez. However, there is no evidence that the conquistador lived here. This residence was probably a country house. Its courtyard, which has not been seen by many people today, is beautifully decorated with tiles and has a fountain. In the 20th century, there was a school in this space, but today it is closed to the public. But who was Diego de Ordez? When the conquistadors had just arrived in Mexico, they saw from Tlaxcala a series of mountains, among them one that was smoking. The indigenous people explained that it was a Popocatépetl volcano and that it was very risky to climb it. It was Diego de Ordez who ventured to explore this mountain which gave him his first glimpse of the city of Tenochtitlan and its grandeur, which he reported to Hernán Cortés. The road was later used by the conquistadors to enter Tenochtitlan. Today, this area is still known as the Paso de Cortés, Cortés Crossing. This expedition was also important because upon reaching the fumaroles, the order has found sulfur, a mineral that was essential in the War of the Conquest, since the Spanish were able to use it to make gunpowder for some weapons. After the so-called Nache Triste, the Night of Sorrows, in which the Europeans were expelled from Tenochtitlan after a violent confrontation against the Mexica began, de Ordez was sent to Spain to inform the crown of what was happening in this part of the world. When he returned to Mexico, much of the territory had already been conquered, and he continued going on expeditions to the south. De Ordez was granted several encomiendas, but in 1532, he died on a return trip to Spain at approximately 52 years of age. It is said that under this house and others in Coyoacan, there are tunnels which were built by the conquistadors to communicate with the houses and as escape routes if needed. Some legends also say that you can still hear the voices and footsteps of those people from the past who walked through those tunnels. Some even claim that at night, ghostly lights can be seen coming out of the house, illuminating the spirits that roam the streets of Coyoacan.